Hi everyone, Tracy here. Today I'm going to share with you some more details on my window envelope swap. But before I get to that, I just want to thank everybody who signed up. I am so overwhelmed, shocked, surprised that I have this many people have signed up for the swap. I am just, I cannot believe it. I thought if I was lucky at the most I'd get five and I'd do a one-on-one -on -one swap with everybody. I didn't realize I was going to get that many. So thank you so much for joining up. Now I'm going to share with you a little bit more detail. And um, what we're going to do is each one of us has to make five of the window envelope pockets with the tags. So everybody has to make five of these. And the second thing is, of course, to use the window envelopes. And you can use any size you have. I have, I don't have enough of the big ones, so I'm going to be using some of these smaller ones here. The windows are actually the same size, but the envelopes themselves are a little bit smaller. So even if you have the bigger ones and you want to make a smaller one, you can cut it down. And I did what I had said I was going to do. I tapped these down to the bottom, your bill down to the bottom, and just cut a little sliver off of the top. And then, you know, slid it, slid it out that way. Slid your bill out that way. So you could still save some of those. And number three is you can do any theme, any color, or any type of papers you want to use. Um, there are many of you who are, this is your first swap, so I, I want to make it as easy as possible. So you're free to do whatever you want. And this would be a good time to use some of your paper stacks that you haven't even opened up yet, because I know some of you have some of those, because I sure do. And it would also be a good time to use some of your leftover papers or some of your scraps. This would be a perfect project to do this on. Since it's all about um, recycling or upcycling, I like that name better, you might as well use some of your, your papers and that that you have on hand so you don't have to go out and buy new stuff. And somebody stuff. asked me if they should decorate the back of the um, envelopes. I didn't for this one because this one is going in a mini album and is going to be adhered straight down to the page. So I didn't decorate this one. But you can, even if you glimmer mist it or stamp something on the back, um, just decorate it some way. And uh, I'd like your information on here somewhere. And what I mean by that is I was in a swap with Gail where we made um, a Halloween banner. And at the back, I put a little tag and then... Um, or a little pouch and put a tag in there with my information for my blog and my YouTube channel. Because when somebody gets your projects that you made, they want to check and see what else you have done and send you a thank you even. So it would be nice if, if they can contact you some way to say their thank yous and to check out what you've done. Plus, I love to look at new blogs and YouTube channels and and that so it would be really nice if you did that now how to get your projects back to you when you send me your parcel if you can include a self-addressed postage paid envelope and then I will put your five tags that you get back in there and mail it off to you but I'm from Canada so if you're having trouble getting the postage where you are then you can uh, just put some money in the envelope and I will buy the postage for you now this, I did this once with one of Gail's swaps and it would have cost me like three times. So it would have cost like $30 extra for me to, to buy the postage here, the state's postage here, as opposed to, I think it cost her $5 to buy the postage to send it to me. So I just gave her the money and, um, and she got the postage for me and it worked out fine. At least on my end. I hope it didn't give give Gail any trouble but it worked fine on my end so if you want to do that I'm fine well, with that. Well I guess you want to know where to send your projects to so you'll be sending them to me and my address is Tracy Lempiella 347 Ficina Street Thunder Bay Ontario Canada P7B 6P5 and I will put that on the screen so you can pause it and write it down that'll be a lot easier than having to rewind it all no, the because time. So many people signed up for my swap. Um, I had to make groups. So what I'm going to do is um, how the groups are determined is first come first send. So the first five people that send me their um, their projects are going to be the first five people to receive them. So you don't have to wait till the, the date to send them. You can send them 
as soon as you're done all your projects, then mail them out to me and you'll get yours that much sooner. Because I know a lot of people are early in sending their stuff and then they have to wait around for the due date and other people are late and that's not fair for the people that are early. So that's how I'm going to determine them. So like I said, it's going to be the first one sent or the first ones that are going out. And actually to try and figure out when we're going to send them out, like I said, we're going to have, I'm going to give you two weeks to do this. So today is the 19th. So um, one week and then the second week will bring us to June the 3rd. That's when you mail your tags out. That's the latest you should be mailing your tags out. And it takes, I thought it was five days or a week, but actually I just got some mail from the States and it took 10 working days. That doesn't include the weekends. So it took 10 working days for me to get them. So if you mail your packages on June 3rd, I'm going to get them on June 17th, mail them out on the 20th. And so you won't get your packages until you should receive them all by July 1st. Well, maybe not July 1st if you live in Canada because that's uh, a holiday here. So like I said, the faster you send them to me, the faster you're going to get them back. And it was just brought to my attention that Canada Post may but go on strike. I'm just going to go ahead with this swap because they may not go on strike. We don't know that for sure. And so this weekend I'm going to be working on my projects. Um, every May long weekend we go to my sister-in-law's camp, my daughters and I, it's a girls only weekend and we scrapbook and pig out all weekend. So I'm going to be working on these all weekend. So I'm excited for that. So if you have any other questions, just write me a, a note and I will answer you as quick as I can. I won't have internet this weekend, so I can't answer any this weekend. Um, there is something else I was going to say. Oh, as I get your tags in the mail, I will let you know that I receive them. And I will also let you know when I mail your tags out so you know to look for them. So I think I covered everything. If I have not, like I said, leave me a message and I will get right back to you on that. So I hope you all have a great weekend. And I hope you have a lot of fun with this project. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for joining my, my swap. This is, this is really exciting for me. So thanks again, everybody. Bye now.